What up on in there? It's your boy Brian D coming at you. I'm gonna play some Axis and Allies new game against Greg. Uh, I'll be the Axis this time, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see what Russia did. Uh, three artilleries, four infantry, pretty standard buy. Combat, Western Russia. Looks like he did the 9 and 12 build, which is 12 P, uh, units into Western Russia, 9 units into Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine looks like he retreated with his tanks because he wouldn't have those two tanks. My fighter survived. So... They lost three infantry, an artillery, and a tank. And I lost infantry, tank, bomber, and artillery. Okay, well, pretty standard round one. I'll do my standard round one, which is 11 infantry and two artillery. Oops. do here I see he moved an infantry from up here down okay all right well my round one consists of sending one sub over here to try to take out the UK keep them from landing in uh, Europe send the other one up here with my other sea units that can reach Two fighters. One guy and two vacated Karelia. I may move more in there later. I just like to see how things go. And the standard closing off one side of the med because. Keep these units from coming up to hit my fleet um, or him from going down. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't really have enough to take this or attack it. I don't really want to. Can my fighter reach down here? No. What about this guy? No. Sometimes if my bomber survives, I will attack here round one, but usually I have to wait till round two. And that's if my fleet survives, because a lot of times UK will hit it with their bomber and the two fighters that can reach, and that's enough to kill it. But I think that that is going to be it for combat. Okay. I do have my fighters not doing anything. I don't want to send them against there. Germany's fighters are valuable. Okay. Here we go. Miss. Oh, thank God.
Well, we can kiss this fleet goodbye. Didn't even take the other side. I was scared about him getting the first hit because if he if he kills my battleship and I don't hit again, uh, my transport has to retreat. Um, um, but the uh, units stay on the transport. You can't unload them, so it's actually a big loss. But anyway, that fleet's as good as gone. Well, if he misses, then I'm... nice. That is a huge, a huge move. Um, usually the sub ends up dying, and and you don't kill kill it, but it happens from time to time. Another move that a lot of people do is to hit the U.S. fleet because instead of one transport, you take out two. But I don't like to have U.K. being able to hit the mainland at all for at least a turn. Okay, uh, last one. This one's always a, kind of an iffy battle. So it sounds like his sub submerged, which I usually don't do in round one for U.K. I think I have my defense profile where it won't submerge. Um, because that's just one less thing to, to, uh, use to, as a defensive hit. Uh, okay. Three hits. That's everything. See how many he gets. One. Okay. Overall, it was a pretty good round for me, except for down here, and this is important, Africa, Germany really needs to take Africa, or at least part of it, threatened for a little bit, uh, to, to win. And, okay, so what do I want to do up here? Well, can I, is it possible to keep Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Looks like I get twelve units there. Let me double check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, plus three fighters, four fighters. And he has 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hmm. I think I might chance it just to make him, force him to uh, make a decision. Okay, here I think I'm going to uh, gonna wait to see what happens down here. Or no, uh, I'm actually going to transfer them to the mainland. You have to go here. These two I'll leave there. If by some miraculous reason, this survives. I can pull these other guys down, but I think that that is it. I've gotten everything. Things have gone well in the Atlantic. And here, 
We'll see. Maybe I should run the numbers before. Never hurts to run it through the battle calculator. This is the one I use. It is set for 1942. Okay. So he has 10 infantry that can reach. Three artilleries and three tanks. And two fighters. And I have Seven infantry, five fighters, or I mean five armor, and four fighters. Okay. The most likely outcome or the middle of the road is for me to have one fighter left. Or for him to have a fighter left if he attacks, I'm sorry. My uh, expectation is three fighters. It's an iffy proposition. I do have the odds. Let me just double check to make sure he doesn't have anything else that can get in there. 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 7, 12, 16. All right, we're going we're gonna to chance it. Usually Germany has to be a little bit bold, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, since, well, I, in case it does survive, put one of my artillery here, the other one there. Place all the infantry. Okay, that's it. I think I played Greg before. I don't remember what happened. I guess I could maybe look through my old games, but ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment if you care. And uh, have a good day, and see ya.